Media. Quick tips. You've seen the scene a million times. The hero gives a steely look into the middle distance. Something catches his attention. He raises his field glasses for a better look, and bam! There it is, the classic binocular effect. It's a great effect to have in your filmmaking arsenal, and it's easily done with Sony Vegas Pro. And here's how. So here we are in Sony Vegas Pro. This particular one is version 13. And here on the timeline is the video clip I want to binocularize. I'm going to make a simple mask to achieve this effect, and for that I'll need a black image of the same size and aspect ratio as the video. And the easiest way to get one is like this. Click on any spare space on the video track, then right click and choose Insert Generated Media, and then Sony Solid Color. Now click here and adjust the color until it's completely black and then close. Now on the monitor screen here, click on the Save Snapshot to File icon, and save the image to your desktop. And now you can right click and delete it from the timeline. Now open your favorite photo editor. I'm using Paint.net, which is completely free, and if you haven't got one you can find a download link in the write-up below. Now drag your newly created image into Paint.net to open it like this. And from the Tools selector, choose Eraser. And using the Brush Width Control, increase the size of the circle so it comfortably fits between the top and the bottom of the frame. Once you've got the right size, then click it once on the extreme left side, like this. And again on the right side. And voila! There's your mask. Now click on File, and Save As, and save it as a PNG file. This is to preserve the transparent bits. Name it Mask, and save it to your desktop. And you can now close Paint.net. Back in Sony Vegas Pro, make sure that there is a spare video track above your clip. If not, add one by clicking on Insert, then Video Track. Now simply drag your mask from the desktop and drop it onto the track above your clip. Trim the mask to match the length of your clip, and you're done. Then simply render to video, and this is what you get. Something catches his attention. He raises his field glasses for a better look, and bam! There it is, the classic binocular effect. This has been a major quick tip, and I've been William Hugh.